Michael with the Windows Club. Did you know that there are batch files in Windows that can be executed in Linux or Unix? In this video we will talk about how to run the .sh or the shell script file in Windows 10. And as usual, do not fret, we will link an article that goes more into depth in the description below. You will find this and more helpful tips about how to get the most out of Windows 10 computer at the windowsclub.com. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more helpful how-to videos for Windows 10. Now, in this video we will look at how to run a shell script file in Windows 10. If you're going to run shell script files, you'll need to use a Linux shell and command language called bash. Now, you'll not need to install Ubuntu or any of the other Linux distros unless your script needs real Linux kernel support. Let's look at executing the shell script using WSL. Now, the first step, of course, is to install WSL. To do that, we're going to go to Windows Settings. Update and Security. Then for Developers. Now, I've already installed all of this into my computer, so in many cases, there'll be a, a few differences. Now, as you see, you have store apps, side load apps, and developer mode. Click on developer mode. Now we're going to search for Windows features. So you're going to look on turn features on or off. And you're going to scroll down until you find Windows subsystem for Linux, WSL. And you click the box, you click OK. And what ends up happening then is that Windows installs it. And the whole reason I did this before this video is because it then requires a reboot to finish the install. So now we have it installed. So our next thing is to open a command window. And our first thing is to uh, s navigate to a folder where the script file is available. We're going to type the bash script file name, dot, dot, sh, and hit enter. So like for instance, uh, cd desktop. And I'm looking for bash text. Oops, misspelled that. Dot sh. <coughs> now, as you can see in this particular uh, one, since I don't have any installed dis uh, distributions in this, I'll of course have to go in and do it. And of course, there are other ways to execute a shell script file, and for those visit the web link we put down below. And until our next how-to, this is Michael for the Windows Club.